Hello and welcome fellow gamers, my name is Borok and this is another episode of Outpost Zero, the awesome space survival game where we survive, try to survive as a robot and prepare this planet for the mankind to come later on by building different machines and different and extracting different uh, materials from the ground. In the previous episode we've managed to find a crashed, crashed ship somewhere over here, which is a, some sort of a spawn point for that one, and um, silver deposits that I have right over here. 72, 72 is not much, but still that's better than nothing. Right, so I've started extracting that silver and build myself a makeshift base over here with generator, charging station and door, so basically I can <laughs> leave the game running and just gather that one uh, every now and then and wait for the crashed ships to swing by. Is there something going on in the drones are just doing great over there. Uh, righty then, so those crashed ships actually do swing by every now and then and as you can see, I already looted to got another 100 uh, s uh, steel out of those two II cores, which is just perfect. But it doesn't want to drop now. I think they come like every two or three minutes, something like that. Because I've just looted before starting. I've just looted it before starting this video. Right, and that's okay. There it goes again. Hmm. Fantastic. Another 50 steel and another II core. Okay, that is a hack. But also I have found where to loot it. This is the place where you need to hit or somewhere around here somewhere to open the loot container. Yeah, there it is. Another 50, another II core. That is just perfect. I just loved it. Uh, also, I've put uh, like 100 uranium over there uranium in the generator and that should work just perfect yeah 164 left so let's go back home and let's utilize uh utilize the silver that i got and the steel that i have because well basically what we're going to be doing is upgrading upgrading uh, stations back home because every station needs like 10 steel to for an upgrade and let's hope that this is not going to be a slope that will kill me. Fortunately not. And also I have like shitloads of bullets back home since my robots were doing awesome job back home, which is just perfect. Right. Uh, this is not acid rain. This is not our area. Let's hope. X, Y, 2. No, that's not it. But everything will go green soon. Okay, so I'll see you guys back in the base. Okay then, so here we are. And let's see what will happen well, if we start. Hello, beautiful. Yeah. I'll be okay. talking to all that sexy scrap metal. Fantastic. Not you. You're as good as dead. Okay, so let's see what will happen if we start upgrading like a uh, nuclear generator but I want to upgrade that one actually so if I upgrade this one we, we will get more power to be able to be drawn from that one okay so let's spend those points and let's build this let's not waste time on the pirates which are basically completely useless okay fantastic so that one is done and another one will require hardened steel we're not going to be doing that just yet. Okay, where did they land? No idea. But let me just grab some uranium. Actually, every single uranium that we can. Uh, but I will need space for that. Let me just put those over here. Okay, okay. Let's grab that uranium and put it. And let's put it in here. So, oh, and actually now we have two slots. That is all. That is good. So I can load more uranium and don't, and I don't have to. Uh, spend that much time or add that much uranium in here. What also makes me wonder if if the uranium is being drawn because of the amount of power that is being generated or because of the power grid consumption. So 
And that's basically my question. If you have an answer to that, please let me know in the comment section of that video. That would be really, really awesome. Okay, so power raid it has ended, so that's good. That is already tier 2, so we're not going to be upgrading this one. And I want to cancel the steel, uh, since I have like plenty. Uh, but still, let's upgrade this baby and let's see what is the difference between tier 1 and tier 2. Tier 1 and tier 2 uh, furnace or materials processor. Right, so we have steel, we have glass, which were earlier. Glass, chemicals, oh, we so need to go with chemicals, sulfur and water. We so need to go with plastics. Because uh, then I need to start mining petroleum. So I have this base over there, so yeah, basically we can do that. Fuel with chemicals, petroleum, carbon fiber. Okay, I think that one is new and hardened steel, of course. Oh, so here comes titanium. That's awesome, and hardened glass as well. Silver wiring, hardened crystal. Diamond, carbon and magnetite. Hardened plastic and carbo, carbon nanotubes. Awesome. Uh, copper wiring is still something that we need. Now, here's equipment workbench. We're going to be upgrading that, that one as well. Because that's what we want to do in today's episode, to check... Ooh, we have two additional tables over there. So the looks also change. That's awesome. Okay, it will be really, really hard to see what has been added. Probably things like down below. Feedback harness deals energy damage at any melee attacker. Ooh, railgun tier 2. Tier 2. Ah, that's nice. Sniper rifle. The, the shotgun SMG tier 2 critical strike chance critical damage factor wow okay tier 2 sword so plastics and more advanced material is going to be needed later on as you can see multi tool spade oh that's nice welder and range finder all of those tools that I already made can be can have tier 2 hmm good so for the welder, uh, building damage factor. Why it says building damage factor? Why damage? I don't care about damage. Let's check versus tier 1. So everything is tier 2. Okay, fantastic. So pistol. Pistol? I don't remember having a pistol. Huh. Where was it? Hand drill welder. Building damage factor minus six. So the same. Huh. Maybe they are a bit different. Now let's see what will happen if we upgrade steel containers. Let's just hope that I won't lose all the stuff that was in there. Oh shit. That makes me worried a bit. Oh no, fortunately not. But ah, oh, look at that. Look at the space that we just got. Few additional slots versus that one. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that's 10. Versus 1, 2, 3, 4 times 4 times 5. So basically we doubled the space, which is just perfect, which is just good. Okay, now it's time to go with Machine Shop. Tier 2. Let's see how this one will handle it. Ooh, looks more fancy. Okay. Wow. Oh, now I can make those bullets for SM, not SMG, rifle. But that one will require potassium nitrate. Used to make, used for making food, furniture, or burning as fuel found near bodies of water. Oh, it says actually where you can find it. Those materials, that's nice. Found near areas of water erosion and cliffs. Like beaches and whatnot. Iron, common material used for building crafting found near cliffs and rocks. Sweet! That is really good. Hardened hyper crystal 
used to construct AI calls crafted at tier 2 material processor. Okay. We're not gonna go with glider. I wonder if anybody built the glider? Because it is possible to... Do you know, build that stuff with even such great... Even with such amount. Oh! Basic things. Oh, so you can actually go with more advanced stuff so you can filter stuff. That's really nice. Does this apply to every single station? Yes, it does. How glorious. You can see now the exact difference between those two. Between those tiers. That is really good, I must admit. That one is already tier 2, so let's not worry about that. Okay. Okay, so having so much steel, having so much AI cores, I want to look into... Robo Doggy? Wow, robotic companion who can boost morale and attack enemies by, but can't equip any weapons or do any jobs. Hover bike? Hover bike? Hover slightly above terrain and consumes fuel. Wow. Supreme AI core. Okay. I would like to build this one first, so we will need robotics assembly and we will need plastics for that. Okay, so plastics, let's just check plastics with basics. Uh, what do I need to make plastic? Plastic, sodium and petroleum. Okay. <clears throat> so no, that's no go for me just yet. Let's go on top. Plastic. We will need glass and advanced AI core. And advanced AI core will require advanced circuit boards. And advanced circuit boards will require silver, magnetite and circuit boards. Insufficient materials. Come again, what was that? Again, advanced circuit board, magnetite and circuit boards. I have, I should have like plenty, no, these are not circuit boards. There's four. Let's just start building them. There's another two. Uh, I have some petroleum over here. But still I should, <coughs> like, you know, have the station. Where did all those circuit boards go? Is that, that's it, for the circuit boards. What a damned ones, you were not doing anything. Stupid lazy ass. Hmm, I hate those drones, honestly. Okay, I have plenty of magnetite, so we don't need to worry about that. Advanced, and we can start constructing those things. Like maybe in... Like that, but it takes so long <coughs> to build one. So I guess I will leave that to drones. This one can be actually upgraded. So I can leave some stuff over here. And let the guys do all the hard job. So basically they will need those. Magnetite. This I can put in here. This and that. Copper, silica, iron and silver I can leave in here as well. I, I core bullets. As I said, I have really like plenty over here. Like here's another 100 bullets, which is just perfect. What I don't like about drones is that they put things around everywhere. It's not like I have OCD or something, but that mm, actually is quite a lot of... Ah, things that go rough everywhere. Okay, so we will need sodium and we will need petroleum. So I need to prepare those two things or find resources to start crafting plastics. Because with plastics, for, for, for more advanced stuff, we will need plastics. Diamond, advanced circuit boards, advanced circuit board. That's good. And over here, steel glass. No, actually no, but for this one, plastic and steel. Okay. So, I think we can build an, an extractor as a tool, like this extractor, and I wonder if it stores liquid, if I can put one next to each other, if that one will gather stuff. Probably not, but you know, you never know. Okay, so let me just 
grab some energy and then I'll see you guys back at the surveyor's plateau because that's where we can get some petroleum I guess so stay tuned I just right back okay so I'm being at the top oh okay this is getting a bit ridiculous so I'm at the top of the of the hill over here and I think the closest one is gonna be that, that one and I hope that this is gonna be petroleum and I can just you know build build this stuff over here somewhere that liquid extractor yes so that's not good and I hope that it will extract me some liquid but to make it work as usual we need to go with power pylons which does have certain range and things need to be in the range of that one so here's the first one here's first one now power pylon and of course we will have to connect the base that we have over there which of course is not going to be a problem but is a bit pain in the neck I hope that this is going to be far enough for that one to reach of course not, shit no actually it is so that's glorious that one works and that one does extract petroleum one at the time oh and we can upgrade them okay good so if I can upgrade them I have some steel over there and also can I upgrade those yes I can so you know what we're gonna be doing mm-hmm yes baby we're going to be upgrading those things as well to increase capacity or speed up the process we shall see how it's going to be right so that one of us over here 50 more iron so i can upgrade now the silver deposit and we still need to find that mm, sodium place Because that one will start draining more power but at least we'll have two places over here so I can get like 500 at the time two stacks which is just great now the question is what will happen if I upgrade that one does this only increase range no idea and honestly I have no idea how to check it Because there is no information there's no bubble whatsoever oh it has two sounds oh shit you scared the crap out of me dude okay oh I think it lowers the consumption the power consumption it does increase HP that's for sure 0 0.05 kilowatts and that one drains foundation doesn't it drain no the same amount so maybe it only increases HP hmm no idea but let's go over here and let's uh, upgrade that extractor as well so it takes like one two three four five seconds per each Here's another 50 still. I don't mind. I really don't mind that. One, two, and definitely that one does increase the speed of gathering materials, which is also good. I like it. I must admit. Okay. So I like it a lot. So in today's episode, we have found a hack um, that you should not be using that often or that much. Because, you know, it's not only about getting free stuff. Okay, this is still alpha and whatnot. 
of course I will utilize it I will use it but I don't recommend to any of you to do such things also what I would like to do in the long run is to have this base connected to the base that is down there I don't know how and when I'm gonna be doing that but definitely I would like to put some ramps and make that effort to build like biggest base I don't know if that's gonna be feasible I don't know how much materials that will take but I think I can do it I think I can do it so I don't have to worry about any creatures that will attack me it's not like they pose any great threat to me no oh, potassium nitrate but you know you know that's just one of those things that I would like to do and it's it's doable I think it's doable I don't know about supports and you know that might be a bit prob problematic but basically going with foundations over here and going that direction yeah that's something you know I would like to have like this one big ass corridor leading over there but I think I should start from a base and go towards that one hmm I must think about that maybe not in today's episode but nevertheless so okay guys that's gonna be it for today's episode I hope you enjoyed it if you did remember to leave a like comment about the gameplay subscribe to the channel if you knew and you like what you see and I hope it and I hope that we will see each other in the next episode, because those pirates, well, they are not going to be doing anything. Oh, look at that, level 3 pirates. Fantastic. So stay tuned, I will be back for more. Bye-bye.